I'm Graham and I've got Elliot here with me. Hello again. Uh, welcome to episode two. We'll be carrying on with our KSP career series. Straight into it with the first rocket. It's a bit... What are we, what are we so doing this time? We are just modifying the old Atlas rocket. Okay. We used in the in the last mission. Atlas rocket. Is it? Oh, okay. I, I've called it as an homage to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, science version. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Very nice. So, standard launch, except with this extra science payload. And going very quickly. And I got a bit. Yeah, I got a bit of a spin on there. I don't know what happened. So but it, anyway, it, it didn't make a big deal. Once the jets and the SIBs go into orbit, just fine. So it's side we've got launches down now, so we're going to do them really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same rocket, you don't need to say it twice. <laughs> right. Let's light my third. Circularize our orbit. Oh shit, what's that? This is uh, time to I'll uh, turn the sound off there. There we go. And then staging did really not up. work at all. Yeah, we ran out of fuel in the. In and the that was going so well. Yep. Wow. Yep. Oh, you suck. Everybody makes staging errors. <laughs> Even the even the even the PhD students, it's fine. Oh yeah, PhD PhD students can do no wrong, right? No, definitely not. <laughs> Apart from the stage and errors. Oh yeah. Oh, because everyone makes those mistakes. Yeah. So yeah, I decide. Well, now's a good time to take all our science readings. So mm -hmm. I fill up the goo canisters. So you make the best of a bad job, basically. Yeah. Do yeah. a quick EVA report, making absolutely no science. Hopefully. Yeah, minimal. Yeah, when it's below one, it's negligible. What's Jeb up to? Hey. So yeah, Jeb's just going. Well, this is nice. Watching the stages. Hanging around in space a little bit. Nice little jaunt. Yeah. To the countryside. Everybody likes the just, uh, zero G. Yeah, you know, just don't step outside. It's a little bit chilly. Well, he's got a suit on. It's fine. Yeah, we're, we're still in sunlight, so it's not too bad actually. <laughs> oh. In fact, it's probably quite warm. Yeah. Well, you can try that. Uh, I believe I believe fifty degrees, so it's like the Sahara kind of sun. Now we went into the eclipse, and that got a bit warm. Yeah. Now we're fine. But it's suborbital flight, so the uh, re-entry is not too bad. You got enough parachutes, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was bringing the science back with me as well. I would keep the science safe, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice and slow. We're we back. Want, we didn't want any. And well, we oh, 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 Okay. Yeah. So, how much science have we got? Oh, just enough. Which one are you going to get? Yep. More science. More science. Yep. So we wanted the um, we wanted the materials bit. Because that'll get us lots oh, of yeah. science. Oh yeah, that does get quite a lot of science. Yeah. From yeah. whatever's in there. So yeah, and then no I'm, I'm looking at... Nobody look, knows. Like, looking at what I can have next, you know. You know. Please give me it. Please. Uh, you're Please. window shopping. Yeah, I'm window shopping for the next upgrades. <laughs> um, it's the solar panels that I want next. Because without those, we can't recharge batteries. Yeah, so we can't be really going so, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's the primary thing. Tits go up very quickly without power. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. You haven't heard that phrase before? No. It's all going tits up? Okay, okay, I've heard that phrase before. Yeah, okay. But anyway, yeah. Small modification to the same rocket again. It's fine. Same so rocket again? Not, not, yeah. Keep Keeping it fresh. Fresh and exciting. <laughs> What are they? Uh, they're batteries. They're the KW rocketry batteries. Oh, because KW rocketry adds a whole heap load of new and interesting mm. things. Oh, yeah. Wow. Because I don't have any solar panels yet, I decided to add more batteries. And more science. Yeah. And and the goo canisters. Notably. Yep. And we're off, and we we got nice and quick. Yep. Same as so last time. Get a bit of a shake on there. Oh, that's probably sped up, isn't it? So that's probably really smooth in reality. Well, it's still oscillating, so it's still not perfect. Yeah, you can see we've got an antenna this time, so we can actually beam science back. Ah. Yeah. Although we have to have line of sight to mission control, and like... Not... Oh, I see the little little line saying, how, how far can you be away? Oh, line of sight, okay. Yeah, um, there is a distance limit, although I'm not entirely sure. You can look at the part specifications. Okay, so... Up, because, up, yeah, I've, I've got this, this um, <clears throat> the normal... KSP science antenna, so that's got quite a good range, really. That'll get you most places. It's quite big. Low orbit, that, that's fine. Yeah, I, I do like this. What's it called again? The, the mod with the. Oh, remote tech. Remote tech. Yeah. Well, to put on. So, with remote tech, if you've got a Kerbal inside, then he can control the spacecraft, but it. 
it brings it back to real life. So if you haven't got a radio connection with the probe, you can't tell it to do anything. Oh, okay. So it can't reorientate or fire the engines or do anything like that. Okay, what other mods have we got on here? So, got so deadly reentry. Yes. KW rocketry. Yeah. Keithane. Keithane. Explain um, Keithane. Oh, uh, Keithane. Um, so there's Keithane deposits on celestial bodies. You can go with drills and keythane tanks and converters and extract the keythane and convert it into fuel and RCS fuel and all that kind of stuff. And make little bases and moon bases. You can go yeah. fly off into the cosmos. Refuel your space stations. Oh yeah. So that they can in turn refuel your rockets. Well, that's a yeah. bit posh, isn't it? Yeah. Like a petrol station in space. <laughs> Exactly like a petrol station in space. BP into standard edition. <laughs> it's, it's the future, Elliot. It's the future. Yeah, when everybody's flying around in space. Oh dear. Well, we're doing it on Kerbal now, right? Here we are. I'm, I'm a qualified it's... pilot. <laughs> hardly. Hardly. <laughs> well, in, in the real world. Well, you... I, I, nobody's died yet. Jeb's just fine. Jeb is fine. Jeb's still be alive. Jeb is lasting. He's doing okay. Yeah. You haven't even had to restart the mission. I'm quite impressed, actually. Yeah, see, see, see. It's going okay. Like, hey, I, I would trust you with <laughs> maybe a CubeSat, Graham. Maybe a CubeSat. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, I'll be a CubeSat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're just having a nice little quick burn. What are we doing? Circularizing. So, okay. Yeah, we, we're not even in orbit yet. This is how slow times want. Yeah, don't go for too much orbit. Come on, I don't. Yeah, so yeah. slow. In fact, I'm going for the high orbit. Nice little bit of sun through the atmosphere we just had there. Can you get some mods on to make Kerbal look a bit more pretty? Kerbal's quite boring looking planet. I will look into that. I'll, yeah. uh, it's it not, may take some time. It's no blue marble, really, is it? Uh, no, it's more of a bluey green marble. <laughs> yeah, but no. Well, yeah. I, I think Kerbal Kerbin looks quite nice. That's Kerbin, isn't it? I'm sorry, I had a, a slip there. Yeah, high orbit, so we can get science from a high over Kerbin instead of just in low orbit. So oh, okay, that's what you did. So okay. that's why the antenna is important, so we can take both. But you can't even see Kerbal from up here, the Kerbin base from up here. That's what I found out when I got up here too. Oh, your lack of foresight. Yeah, a little bit of a lack of foresight, but thankfully I got all the science done in low orbit when I was down there, so I just record it all now. And then wait until you oh, come back yeah. around again. Well, oh, we're gonna go. Lot. We're gonna go straight back into the atmosphere. Oh, oh, okay. Because we've got all the science, it's fine. Oh yeah, okay. And we've probably got enough for solar panels now, so we can do another mission. It's it's, it's fine. Okay. Solar panels, we can go further and have a nice little jaunt around the solar system. Yeah. Go yep. visit the moon or moon. Yeah. Whatever they call it. Well, you there. predicted my mission schedule completely. Oh oh. Yep. Well, that's, that's taken by the excitement now. I, well, I know exactly what we're going to do. Well, well, it was kind of obvious though, right? Yeah, I suppose. Do a little science and all, but in case we're bored of just going around curving now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got to go do something interesting. So we, we've got, we've got sort of. Well, it's 1969 now, and we're yeah. on the eve of a new. But yeah, this is this mission's kind of almost emulating the uh, planned Orion mission in 2014, the first test of the new capsule. NASA's new capsule. Oh yeah, 2014. Yes, yes, next year. I see. Oh, yeah, okay. next year. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, so they put it in a slightly eccentric orbit, sending it a lot higher than the ISS is currently. Okay, then smash it into the atmosphere and, and see what it Smash it into the atmosphere. No one in so it, I appreciate This it. is our most energetic re entry to date. And uh, some of those batteries look a little exposed. Oh, yeah, they can't go bang. Oh, well, it's getting quite warm, yeah. quite warm. Eight, uh, oh, that's cooling down, down again. again, which okay. contradicts the. Uh, Increasingly large flames, but oh wait, no, that's good. <laughs> what, okay. what happened there? I think it's it's getting heated. Somehow. It's getting heated the, dynamically. The ma the magic of Kerbal. Yeah, yeah but we, we seem to be not losing him. We seem to be all right. I was quite worried at the time. That is getting warm. Yeah, it's not working anymore, but it's not exploded yet. If I was a battery and I was at a thousand centigrade, I'd I'd explode. <laughs> I'd be pissed off. Okay. <laughs> Damn you guys, I'm gonna blow up. I'm not gonna handle this. I can't work under these conditions. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, that, that's perfectly fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I just think, I think they should go and strike. Well, we're just observing the lovely effects here. The lovely plume. Lovely yeah. plume, yeah. But yeah, yeah. 
So we've survived our harshest rain through today. It's all with well. with the science intact. With the science equipment intact. I don't know the way you, the way you said it's all going well as if that something's about to go wrong. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We are fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, We're re-entering. Yeah. Under uh, plenty of parachutes. It's all go, good. Going quite slowly. Oh. Yep, just about to hit the surface. The oh, tension is killing me. There we go. Victory dance. Oh, that's quite nice. That's very pretty. <laughs> well done. Well done. Nice little sunset. And we have oh, that's quite a bit of science. Fifty-four science from this mission. From a suborbital mission. No, that was that's a not, that was an orbital mission. What was it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah just, we only just did a orbit. Just a bit. technically didn't do a whole orbit, but it's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, I wouldn't call that. Yeah, we uh, unlocked the solar panels, and that's all we could unlock. And we're sort of because science is getting expensive now. Jerry rigging it into a moon land. The well, uh, yeah, moon land. I, I decided the moon lander would be a bit optimistic at this point. Oh, so we're just going for a, sort of a we're going quick for spy. A, uh, just another jaunt. We're going for an Apollo 10. Yes, yes, we're going for Apollo 10. A quick Apollo 10, and then uh, we'll come back. Fly, fly by the moon on a free return trajectory. Oh, yeah. We don't want your legs. We, we, we couldn't, like, just pretend to land, can we? It's, it's, not, it's not a guy. <laughs> come down to the surface. I, we don't have enough fuel. I haven't yeah. got enough rocket parts. Not an Apollo 10. That's why I didn't do it. Well, there you go. It's emulating the mission exactly. I think it was now the first capsule very nearly. It was going to be like uh, uh, Snoopy, I think. May have been the Snoopy. Snoop, Snoop, uh, Snoop. Yeah, they had some interesting names for it. Yeah, because yeah, they, they knew it wasn't going to land. Yeah. Because then they underfueled it, because they knew if they fueled it that the astronauts would go for it. Yeah, and yeah. The, the, it, it, it wouldn't be the eagle has landed, it would be Snoopy has landed, which yeah. would be the first words ever spoken from the moon. Yes. Which, whilst being immensely amusing, um, probably not uh, the best the, thing is to go down I, in history. I, I, they're test pilots. They would have definitely tried to land. Yes. That's, that's why they underfueled them. They had half a chance. <laughs> yeah. I think some of them did have a chance later on to actually go and do it properly. Um, so that, that was nice for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, obviously, again, with no communication satellites or any other points of contact on Kerbin, uh, we only able to download our science over directly or above, which need some satellites in orbit. I think next round. Well, yeah, we still got a bit to do yet, though. Oh, we've got pilots setting up a nice maneuver need. node. Yep. So this is setting up the maneuver node to head off to the moon. That's a crazy entry. I, uh, what's going on there? Yeah, I, I'm just playing about with this a bit. I, it didn't have to be perfect. We got lots of fuel. What I was trying to do was get a free return trajectory, so I'm trying to get a gravitational assist off the moon that put me Bring back into the atmosphere uh, without having to make a single burn. And that's what a lot of moon missions actually did, sounds quite clever. Yeah, it's like Apollo 13. <laughs> Apollo 13 changed their trajectory. Yeah, to be a free return. Yeah. Into a free return trajectory. The incident. Stirred the oxygen tanks. It's a perfectly normal thing to do. <laughs> when, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. But yeah. They made it back. It's yeah. Good. Tom Hanks as well. He's a brave man, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Stranded on an island, went to space. What's he going to do next? <laughs> what a man. What a guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, on uh, just a little note, always remember to orientate your solar panels towards the sun. We've got them all around you. Not all. Of them. I've got most of them on this side, to be fair. If you if you plan your spacecraft well, you should have some on every every face of your spacecraft, just so if you forget this key and important. Or what do you do? Oh, no, 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 no. This one's fine. This one's fine. This one's got plenty of. This one's got plenty of solar panels on it. It's good. Well, solar panelled up. Yeah, there's not future missions that encounter this problem. It's fine. Uh, that sounds foreboding. As if something's bad. Well, happen. we'll see. I you have got a free return. Yep. Well done. A very neat burn there. No one to crash into the moon or anything. No, we've got a non-zero periaps over the moon. <laughs> non-zero. It's just oh. skim. Yeah. <laughs> skim it. <laughs> Non-negative number as well. That's that's called litho breaking. Je Jeb can reach out the window and take some samples as we go by. Look, 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 we're coming up on the moon. Just entered the sphere of influence. Hello, sphere moon. Influence. Hello. The moon. moon. It's not moon, it's moon. Moon, yeah. Moon. So. It's looking nice and messy. That's quite hard. So at this point, I also realise we're now out of range of that antenna. 
it's uh you scarce. can't transmit anything. No, but I can collect science. Oh yeah. So this is all good. It's all that really matters, right? Seventy five science. That's more than you've ever got before. From a single mission. Oh there we go. Actually no, you got eighty six last time. So you're you're beating it. Yeah. Oh, no com no com that's lies. You have a comms device. I do have a comms device, but it's not connected. Taking Jeb out for a quick stroll. Yep. And quickly back in again. I like you don't have to let go for it to count as EVA. But I suppose. Uh, Extravehicular yeah. activity. Hold your gun to the ladder <laughs> that the spacecraft counts. By definition, yes, I suppose it's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By definition? Okay. What are we doing yeah. now? Nice. We're just nice. watching the sun go down. We're we? just coasting by. And, and we're done and we're back and we're. Yeah, Apollo 10, right? They were really peeved they didn't get to try and land. But they they went through the full... They did the whole separation thing, the lander went near, had a good look at the surface of the moon, yeah. and they couldn't land. I separated my yeah. lander. This is only a lander. There's no command module. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> we did all that, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And I did need to correct, because transferring and warping slightly alters your orbit yeah. due to calculation errors. But yeah, we corrected the orbit. It's coming back down, coming back down. This is going to be an even heavier re-entry than we've ever done before. Oh, we've coming for quite a while off, aren't we? Yeah, all the way from the moon. We've basically fallen back from the moon. Can you skim off the atmosphere? Is that a thing that happens in this month? Oh, you can... You can skim through the upper atmosphere, not slow down enough, and go back up into an orbit. It's a thing that happens in the real world, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've not got enough life support to sustain you for the next orbit, okay, yeah, that's, that's a bad idea. That's a try and, don't do that. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, do don't that. screw up your error braking. But yeah, coming back down. Nice decide, decide to leave the lower stage on as we enter the atmosphere, just to keep it nice and close as we go through. Yeah. Wanted yeah. to try and see it burn up. I'd like to see it explode, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Recreate bits of gravity, though you've still not seen that. Have you seen that? I've seen, I've seen, seen it. I've seen it, okay. I've seen it. It's good, it's good. I recommend it. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so yeah, now we're 50,000 50, metres chasing the lower stage. <laughs> Very pretty views of the uh, Kerbal Alps, I think we'll call it. Should we call it that? Yeah, yeah. I've no idea where that actually is on the surface, but it's... We can go yeah. skiing there. Here we go, here we go. Take the Kerbal skiing there one day, it'll be lovely. Yeah, yeah. Some glue vine on the slopes. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a nice day spent. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I, this, I get very oh, worried at this oh, point. Oh, dear, oh, 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 no, 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 not Jeb! 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 No! Jeb! Jeb, are you okay, Jeb? The, the heat shield He's seems to be intact. What is, what is I happening? I think it seems to be okay. I think it's okay. At this point, I realised that I may have left the solar panels completely exposed to the airflow. Oh, that's so what that was. So they all okay. blew up individually. Oh, we don't need them. We're done with them. <laughs> it's a very dramatic, dramatic style. It didn't just rip off or anything. Oh. It exploded. <laughs> but, but the heat shield is holding and protecting the main parts of the spacecraft. So we're all good. No need to panic? No. Well, the heat shield could... It's ablative, right? So if we burn right through it. That wouldn't be good either. But yeah. thankfully we managed to come Is back. Is that a thing that can happen? Yeah, if the yeah, yeah, yeah. If the blade of heat shield runs out of I know it can happen in the real stone. world, as uh, demonstrated in the past, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's quite a big thing for land as well. It's got quite a rough landing. Well, I've got lots of parachutes. Oh, you're landing on a hill as well. Yeah. Yeah, hills are uh, notoriously dangerous in Kerbal Space Program. But I I'm experienced, I can handle this. They're quite big. Like, so I uh, tilt, tilt the rocket so that we fall facing up the hill. And then we're done. Are we going to have a roll? No. And then get the SAS on straight away so we don't start rolling down it. Perfect. Boom. And then clip through the ground. It's fine. That's quite pretty, isn't it? In a curve. Yeah, so this one. this looks quite round from this point of view. So I'm like, is this a, is this a crater? Crater? This is a crater. It looks pretty round. That is quite cratery, isn't it? But... Could just be a geological feature. No, as, as evidence of former, uh, so like um, space activity. What do, what do you call it? Okay, so two hundred science, two hundred six science. That's not too bad. One hundred and sixty-nine from this mission. Oh, okay, total. Yeah, I think we had a fairly successful mission then. Yeah, yeah, it went quite well. Had a nice uh, look at the, the solar moon. panels made it quite dramatic. Yeah, that's quite a fun ending. I, I, I like that. 
a little bit of a... <laughs> you ended it with a bang, I must say. A few bangs. <laughs> Um, yeah, just trying to decide where to go next, really, in the science. Oh, we've, we've done. Oh, in science, what about in, in, in Kerbal? Where are we going next in Kerbal space? I'm not really sure. I guess it depends on what we. What what science we, we can we do. Buy. Yeah, so we could buy larger rockets and try and get more efficient larger rockets into orbit. We kind of do need the commsats to be able to transmit the science. Yeah, back. I think that should be a big thing because you do seem to have trouble talking back to base and sending the, the all important yeah. science back yeah. home. Yeah. Without um, the science, things don't go well. Eclipsing behind the moon is also bad. But yeah, went for the went for the big rockets so we can get to the moon. I did like those double rockets. Okay, yeah. and I think we're done there for today. Um, we'll see you guys see. next time. Goodbye. <laughs>